Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampathy watching Sampath Samfix YouTube channel, and this is Mi 11X, the Poco F3, a Redmi K40 custom ROM reviews. And this is a MIUI 14.0.23.1.9 developer MIUI SR edition. This is, and there are like four editions in this MIUI SR. I am using Eternity and Performance 1 balanced is also available and decrypt encrypt is also available i used decrypted performance one edition and i am really happy here with this experience of this rom i really really like this rom i came from mui vn edition that was really good and this is over that it is even better that's the experience what i got with this mui sr as you can see it's very very smooth the user interface i usually play pubg mobile in this particular smartphone hence i using this rom it's really good the experience with the pubg mobile is also excellent here it's because of the performance what they enabled and it, while flashing also good thing was i was in mui vn for some reason i forget to format the data but it rebooted to this rom it's really good isn't it you guys can see here up to 90fps option has been enabled there is an option separately in the settings i will show you within a while and let me show you i am been playing like this is the new season here as you can see this all the match results it's fine i'm not a hardcore gamer or anything like that like conqueror player or anything like that but i do want to play the game to enjoy with friends couple of hours that's fine actually the gameplay is really good in this particular rom you guys can see this is the gaming mode whatever you get even watch changer is also working fine i kept a bright and saturated effect you can change them and let's jump into boot camp and see because most of the people request this thing let me increase a little bit of volume okay i kept to 90 fps And currently I am in diamond. I hope we get some enemies. Because when I was in bronze there were no one around this boot camp also. Let's see. Okay, and there are few enemies. Yes. Let's see how it handles. Don't judge my game, just see the gameplay, how it handles the smartphone with this Mio SR edition. Fortunately, I got some gun. Let me decrease the volume. It's too loud for me. And how this game mode, you can see FPS is around 85. There are someone around me. Let's check them. and how you play the game i mean pubg mobile or bgmi let me know in the comment section also try to tell me that how many fingers you use and are you a gyro player or not let me know in the comment section and one of my friend is also using similar rom and similar smartphone he's using gyro so he's also happy with the rom the experience is good no need to worry regarding the gameplay if you use the performance mode Okay, they will come from this side, I hope so. Let's see. Okay. They run away from here. <laughs> someone above me there was no any fps drop or anything like that like unplayable or anything there are a lot more enemies here even while dropping also there was not a problem okay that's it this is how the gameplay here in the mi sr edition it depends upon your internet connection also and your gameplay also definitely 
and uh, this how the rom and regarding the quick settings well you can't customize like vn edition as you can see press and hold only you get this toggles option and material you design i really liked it you can change the icons and everything and regarding that settings you need to go into mus uh, sr lab and miscellaneous here you need to enable high fps spoof games then you will get a high fps in pubg mobile or bgmi like games and other settings also like vpn also you can enable from here and main menu you get lot more customization here and i like the smoothness in the ui it's really good not in just in the gameplay or anything like that even in the user interface wise it's really really smooth i haven't seen such a smooth user interface i am i also use this k50i you can see it has 144 hertz refresh rate and also dimensity 8100 if not that great but still i can experience similar kind of experience here also due to this rom it's even better here it's a stock rom in k50 but still this one has very good because of the custom rom the sr edition they have boosted the performance in this performance edition hence you can expect a very good gaming and even the high performance yes battery life may not be the great but still i am happy and even the uh, 33 watt charging speeds are really good if you want to play the game and keep the charging in between also that is also possible in this rom it will not make any heat while playing the game i mean the warmness will be there it's not going to overheat your smartphone let's come back this and notifications you get again you can see the app see the animation and if you come back again and new control you can see the animation here pulse mode these things you have sh seen in the screenshots and if you flash the rom i think most of them will be using this sr edition only let's see let me know in the comment section and what are what is your battle royale game or any other games you are playing let me know in the comment section guys and always on display it also works but i turned off let's apply this and keep it always and let's turn this off it might show you within a while as you can see it is little bit dimmer but that's how it is you can see the face unlock is also really really quick here and uh, rest to wake if you want you can enable the double tap to turn on wake the screen let's check this that's not going to work in the quick settings it's not also working here but double tap to wake is working yeah that's fine and if i go into settings back wallpapers and personalization you get plenty of wallpapers this thing is a bug here you can't download this super wallpapers you need to manually download them and other wallpapers are given me a 14 base this is everything is working fine regarding this and super sound and the effects you can see dolby atmos has been given keep it dynamic or voice i need voice because i play games the other person's audio will be visible i mean audible sorry that's fine here and graphic equalizer i kept this maximum if you know how to tweak you can tweak them out and preset also it's all depends upon you how you use it will make difference you should definitely try them in dolby atmos voice will make you the i mean the players the friends uh, audio will be clear a little bit and other settings you can see here five by four calls and silent mode other settings are also fine in this sr edition and display settings again switching between light mode and dark mode is also fine other options also you can see the user interface wise it's a smooth customizable and even performance oriented what else you need to flash this room and other options you can see motion mmc technology also if you want you can enable all these things super resolution i don't think so it will be useful but anyhow these are the options has been included here home screen again you get lost more customization as you can see if you just talk about this it will take one hour in this video but that's how it is in vn edition what all the things we have seen even enhanced this one the movie sr and updates also you get frequently about this one but the MIUI editions only you get here and additional settings again you get all the options like tapless front camera stream floating windows and memory extension up to 5 gb kit space and quick replace those are the things present in this customer custom rom and security features also again you get plenty of thing i haven't run any benchmark scores or anything like that but the performance is really really good here and uh, this is how the rom now moving into some default apps like one thing i am missing in this particular rom is the me video or anything there should be but it hasn't enabled hence once i take any video it is not going to play directly to vlc that's the 
the one thing I have noticed here they would they would have given any default video player here that's simply missing here and other applications like camera it's fine I really liked it because you get 4k 30 f 60 also 24 30 60 as you can see 4k 24 30 and 60 fps has been enabled it's really good the camera application is i really liked it you get like a integration also and you get all the modes here you can use them i really like the user interface as you can see again the widgets and all you can see you can arrange the folder like this like this and you can add the widgets like plant docs or even some of the things will be coming and search bar also you can customize on minus one screen this one you can even customize this as you can see it's really cool the experience in the ui you get is excellent top notch here and battery life is also let me show you i just charged it right now again i want to play the game you can see disable the automatic brightness okay these toggles are also smooth here the transition and animation you can see battery life hasn't recorded because i charged it again recharged it but I can say one thing if you disable the always on display, but you can enable that it will not make huge difference only two to three percent will be more the drainage other than this I haven't faced any issues here. It's a really good ROM only the sync between the camera and the video player is a little bit of problem here other than that nothing is problem. That's how it is guys if you like the video give it a like and if you're still not subscribed to my YouTube channel let the subscribe button and this the dialer you get and you get a proper MIUI dialer here direct video call feature is also there and without announcing you get a call recording feature also what else you need in this particular ROM this is the verdict of this ROM if you want to flash this you can go it out on which version of uh, SR edition like performance decrypt encrypt it all depends upon your usage and what for you need it that's all depends upon you you should decide which edition is good for you if you want a very good battle life i still recommend to use this rom only because the performance is very good if you don't play games also it doesn't matter the performance is very good here and refresh rate yes keep it custom and 120 also it will even feel smoother that's the thing i want to sh say you that about this verdict you can use the performance mode only for good battery life also if you don't play the games it will not drain the battery that will not make a huge difference but anyhow the benchmark results and other things will make difference but that's it guys i want to say that flash this performance mode the MIUI sr edition then you will be happy that's my verdict and watch my other videos also MIUI vn edition cherry shows lineage OS. i made plenty of videos on my channel go and view those videos in my channel there is a separate playlist called me 11x you can watch them that's it guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keeps smelling baba for now